hello welcome to texture myth in this session we will see how to read the data from physical file into rpg -E program okay so there i have created uh, one physical file and this physical file contains some data uh, i will show you that data also and along with that i have created one program in which we are reading this physical file and then we are displaying it to the user so firstly we will discuss about the physical file uh, structure so let's take five option here so here the record format name for this physical file is emp pfr and these are the fields that i have stored inside this physical file emp id emp name and emp department so if you are not aware how to create this physical file then you can refer the previous sessions also there is one session in which i have explained about the physical file okay so now we have created this physical file now let's see what is the data inside this pf so i'm going to my session 2 and here i'm running one query select star from emp pf1 so these are the data or records which is stored inside this emp pf1 file so there are some employee id name employee name employee department okay so if you look uh, carefully then you can see that all these ids are a random order right it is not arranged in a, in a, any specific order we are just keeping the, uh, these ids and records in a random way okay so let's see how we can uh, read this inside the rpg -E program so for that here i have created that program let's go to the program we are writing the code in fully free format and we have specified the control option no debug io and ssd stmt now on line number 12 what we are doing we are declaring the file so first of all we have to declare the file so my file name is emppf1 how to define the file to define the file you have to write this dclf which means this declare file then emppf and in the users you have to uh, put like for which purpose you are using this file so i'm declaring it for uh, input right so we just want to read the data from this file so that's why i'm uh, using it as a input mode in input mode so i have put it star input and my pf file have one key field that's why i have we have to use this key keyword okay so these are the line or these are the required thing you need to uh, you need to declare for declaring any physical file okay so first step it declare uh, cleared like we have declared the physical file now the second step second step is to set the pointer like from which point we want to read the data so for that we will use one opcode that is set ll and set ll is for setting the lower limit where on a star level star level means the minimum value or the least value of the physical file so here we are uh, talking about the keyed field so i am setting my uh, lower limit to the star level means least value in emppf1 file so where it will set the pointer if i show you in the data so it will find the lowest value which is one so it will set the pointer here then it will read the record after that once this record is read it it will check for the second lowest value and then third lowest fourth lowest and like in same order it will read the entire file so first of all we have to set the pointer so we have set the pointer on lowest value star level now we will read the file so to read the file you have to use this read of code so i'm reading emppf1 okay so after that what, what will happen it will check do in uh, we are running one loop because we want to read multiple records as it contains multiple records we are not reading only one value we have to read the entire file so that's why i'm using the loop do while loop here and we are checking not end of file emppf so end of file means like suppose we are reading it from one then one by one we reach till six after six there is no record so in that case the file is ended so we are just checking like file is ended or not if it is not ended then will it will repeat the loop otherwise it will came outside the loop so we are checking so as we have read it for the first time so it, it will find the record which is uh arjun record right so it will print that it's display emp id emp name read pf uh, 
emp id and emp name and after that inside the loop we are again reading the file so that we can read the next record so suppose first id is printed first id name and first uh, id emp id and emp name is printed then we are reading it again then in after that it will read for the second id then for this second id then this after that this third one okay and so on it will work so once the file is ended it will directly came outside the loop and then it set the star i in lar equals to star on so let's compile and call the program and see whether we are getting the correct output or not to one then arjun then two abhishek two prashant two kartik tarun shubham vishal arvin and karshit so if we check like last record is abhinav so if we hit enter again so it returns the abhinav record so that's how this file is reading inside the rpg program with the help of star low well and set ll okay so if i repeat the again the steps like firstly you have to declare your file once file is declared then you have to set the pointer on the file so we are saying there are other ways also through which we can set the pointer but that we will see in the upcoming sessions but for now we are using set l low well so set l is for setting the lower limit and star low well is for uh, setting the lower limit on the least value so that's why it uh, point to the first id because it is the least value inside the key field okay once pointer is set then you have to use the read of code uh, for uh, reading the first record and after that it will go inside the loop and one by one we will reach uh, read the all records once the loop is ended it will came outside the loop and set the star and lar it means program is ended so to uh, have a good picture let's uh, debug this program so i'm compiling it with source so it is compiled now we will take this program in debug mode read pf1 this is my program name so read pf1 then we have to set this option star yes star yes enter so if you are not aware like how to take the program in debug mode then we have a separate session for that so you can go through that session and then you will be able to understand like how to take the program in debug mode mainly we have to compile the source with uh, source program with source and then you can take this in debug mode here we will take option br1 for setting the breakpoint then press f10 and call this program br1 is used for setting the uh, breakpoint on line 1 now we will go one by one by taking f10 so it will execute so we have set the pointer then read so if i check emp id right now so it will show one and emp name as arjun why because read opcode is performed this line is executed right after that it will check it is the end of file no it is not end of file so it will print the emp id and emp name then it will read it again so this line number 31 is executed so this time emp id is changed yes it is changed employer name is also changed yes it is changed and it will again go inside the loop and one by one it will read all the records and display all the records okay so that's how it process the data from the file okay, once uh, right now we are having an employee id as six so this time it will print the record and next time when it go for checking the condition this time we don't have uh, employee id so it directly came outside the point uh, uh, loop why because it only has emp id as six so file is ended that's why it came out of the loop and it is setting the star in lar equals to star on and just program is ended once debugging is completed you have to hit this command and debug enddbg okay. so this is the way through which you can read the physical file with the help of set ll star low well in the upcoming session we will discuss few more things so yeah thank you for watching tech